Till now, we've been using simple variables to store data. For example, if you want to have a variable that stores the cars that I like. Well, we can create a variable. We can call it car1. Then here we can choose this car. Now, what if you want to store another car that you like? Well, I can create another variable. I can call it car2. Then I can choose this name. Now, what if you want to store another car? And another one. And another one. Are you going to create a variable for each car? Well, you have a better solution for this problem. You have JavaScript arrays. An array is an ordered collection of data that can be anything. You can store numbers in arrays, strings, objects, functions, and you can mix them together. So whenever you want to store multiple values in a single variable, use arrays. Because a simple variable can store only one value. So let's go and create an array for this example. I will declare a variable and I will give it the name cars I like. So here I'm using camel case. Then let's assign to it an array. An array is simply created using brackets. So when I add this, now I have an empty array. Let's console log this variable. So now you can see that we have an empty array. Let's add items to it. Well, you simply add items by separating items with a comma. So here I will use strings for the cars. So the first one, then add a comma, then the second one, then add a comma, then the third one. And now when I go to the browser, here I have the new array with the cars that I like. Great. The array items are strings in this example, but they can be anything. For example, I can create a new array, numbers that I like, and here create an array of numbers. And now when we console log the array of numbers, we can see that they are numbers. You can create an array of objects. If you've never seen objects, don't worry, we will address them later on in this course. So let's create an array of objects. Let's make use of spaces to make this code more readable. Then let's console log. And great, we have the array of objects. Arrays can hold functions. If you've never seen functions, don't worry. We will see, we will also address functions in the next videos to come. So let's create an array of functions. And now when we console log the array, we have the functions, great. The rule is arrays can hold anything. You can even mix types in one array. You can have an array that has strings, numbers, functions, or even another array. Arrays can be nested, and this is something really powerful. You can even have undefined, null, and a boolean value like true or false. Well, an array can store anything. Now let's remove all of this and keep only the array of cars. Arrays come with really useful properties and methods that you can use on it, like the length property. Let's console log cars that I like dot length. And now we have three. So if I want to know the number of cars that I like, I can make use of this property. I can add a message here and say, I like, then use the cars I like dot length, then continue the message with cars. And now we have I like three cars. If I add a new car here, we will have I like four cars. Great.